In this video, we'll look at uh, the ease of installation of uh, OpenShift version 3 environment. Specifically, we'll look at how, how easy it is to spin up new nodes. For creating a new node, all I did is I, this is an OpenStack based environment. My OpenShift is installed on OpenStack. I spun up a new host, a, a virtual machine on uh, OpenStack. I called it Node 3 and I registered that system with Red Hat. And uh, all I did was uh, uh, ran a script to, um, to enable all the dependencies that OpenShift requires. So my, what you're seeing here is the Node 3 that is uh, just spun up and it's, it's running on OpenStack and it is ready to get uh, installed as a node on master. Now let me go back to the master and I'll show you the, some of the changes I made to uh, the, the etsy ansible hosts file. All I needed to do here to add node 3 was add this one line. And this line says that I want to add an additional node which is node3.demov3.oscloud.com and I'm saying this node should be added as with, a, with labels configured as the region as primary and the zone should be best. We already had uh, two nodes in the region primary. Node one was configured as zone west and node two was configured as zone east. Now I'm adding a node three and that would be configured as zone west. I am also passing an additional parameter. Uh, this is just for the sake of OpenStack. I'm saying that the OpenShift public host name is node3.demov3.oscloud.com and the OpenShift host name also I'm passing the same value. Now this is the only change I need to make to the configuration file that uh, Ansible takes as an input. Now let me run the um, Ansible playbook to install the node 3. All I have to do is execute this one command and it'll run a bunch of scripts. This will take a couple of minutes, so I'll make, uh, I'll run it a little faster. and it is done. As you can see, it added node 3 and it also reconfigured the master to say that node 3 is ready. So you can see that it has changed two different things. Now let us look at uh, what nodes are now available and the node 3 is ready. So it is as simple as running this one script to make changes to the uh, OpenShift environment to add additional nodes. So the installation, th this shows you how easy it is to install OpenShift. Now, um, this kind of a process can be handled by external tools like uh, Cloud Forms, or it can also be integrated and automated into uh, OpenStack scripts, and which is going to come up in the future uh, if you happen to use OpenStack and OpenShift together.